I welcome you all for uh, the series of lecture on metrology. Now, we will start uh, module 8. In this uh, module, we will uh, learn about uh, taper measurement, tilt measurement, angle measurement and uh, radius uh, measurement. In the first uh, lecture, uh, we will be covering about uh, the introduction to taper tilt and uh, angle, what is the meaning of these uh, terminologies and then what are the various uh, instruments used for the measurement of uh, taper, tilt uh, and angle. Uh, we will uh, study about uh, the instruments like combination set, vernier bevel protractor, optical bevel uh, protractor, sign bar, sign center and uh, sign table. In between, we will also conduct uh, some uh, experiments to uh, understand the measurement of uh, these uh, taper, tilt and angle. Now, let us start uh, the introduction to taper, tilt and uh, angle. In our daily life, uh, we come across uh, with these uh, terminologies. Uh, taper, it means uh, to become narrower towards one end. So, you can see here there is a component here. Uh, the length of this uh, particular portion of the component is 40 millimeter and uh, from here to here the diameter is uh, 40 millimeter and now it is uh, to, towards one end, towards other end the diameter is uh, reducing. At this uh, particular location the diameter is uh, 30 millimeter. That means, the size is getting narrowed towards uh, one end. Uh, such uh, components are called uh, tapered uh, components. We can see one example here, uh, a tapered roller uh, bearing. And uh, then uh, we will the tilt, a sloping position or movement. So, one simple uh, example is shown here. We have a solar panel, its uh, inclination is uh, uh, changed with the tilt or the orientation of uh, the solar panel is changed. That means, this uh, position sloping position or sloping movement is uh, known as uh, tilt. And then we have uh, the term angle, it is the space between two intersecting lines or uh, surfaces at or close to the point where they meet. That means, if you take uh, the two lines 0 A and 0 B, these two lines are they are uh, getting intersected at this uh, point uh, O. Now, this uh, space is known as uh, angle. Similarly, we can have uh, two uh, surfaces. Uh, so, we have one surface like this and another surface. So, this space between these two surfaces is called uh, angle. You can see some uh, examples here. Uh, we have a uh, machine tool uh, guide way. This is slide and this is uh, guide way. We have uh, sloping uh, surfaces here. The inclination between these two surfaces is uh, the angle. Similarly, we can have, we have a sloping surface here and we have a flat surface. So, the inclination between these two surfaces uh, is uh, there is some angle and uh, this angle tilt and taper they are uh, normally measured uh, in terms of uh, degrees or uh, radians. That means, there are two commonly used uh, units of measurement uh, for angle or taper or tilt. The more familiar unit is uh, degrees. A circle is divided into 360 equal degrees, so that a right angle is uh, 90 degree. Degrees may further be divided into minutes and uh, seconds. 
each degree is divided into 60 equal uh, parts, each part is called a minute. So, 7 and a half degree can be called uh, 7 degrees 30 minutes, I written as 7 uh, uh, degree 30 minute. Each minute is uh, further divided into 60 equal parts, each uh, small part is called uh, 1 second. So, for instance, uh, uh, 2 degrees uh, 5 minutes and uh, 30 seconds is written uh, as shown uh, here. Now, parts of a degree are uh, now usually referred to decimally. For instance, 7 and a half degree is now usually written as 7.5 degree. So, this indicates that it is 7 degree 30 minutes. Now, the other common measurement of angle is uh, radians. For this measurement, consider a unit uh, circle, a circle of radius 1 unit whose center is the vertex of the angle in question. If you see this uh, diagram, this is the vertex and this is the circle with uh, 1 unit uh, radius. Then the angle cuts off an arc of the circle and the length of that arc is the radian measure of the angle. Now, you can see here we have a, a line here, we have another uh, line here, these two lines they cut the uh, circle. So, this length of arc is the radian. Uh, radian. It is easy to convert between uh, degree measurement and radian measurement. The circumference of the entire circle is uh, 2 pi, the circumference of the entire circle is 2 pi. So, that 360 degree equals uh, 2 pi radians, hence 1 degree equals pi by 180 radians. Now, there is uh, another term cone angle uh, which is uh, more frequently used. It is an included angle between generatrixes as measured in the axial plane section. Now, you can see here we have a conical part here, we have uh, multiple uh, uh, generators. We can have multiple generators uh, like this. Now, the included angle between two generators is called uh, cone uh, uh, angle, which is measured in the axial plane section. The method of dimensioning and uh, tolerancing conical surfaces on drawings is covered in uh, ISO 3040 1990 standard. Now, various uh, instruments are used for measurement of uh, angle or uh, tilt or taper. Now, we have uh, a combination uh, set, we can see here we have a steel rule and then we have a center head and then we have a square head and then at, this is uh, the protractor uh, part, we have a body. So, this is the body, this is the blade which is uh, which can be rotated and we have uh, the scale here, rotary scale here. This is a simple uh, protractor wherein there is no vernier. Uh, you can see the details of uh, the uh, simple uh, protractor, we have a rotary scale, you can see the uh, markings 0 to 90, 100, 110 up to 180 and similarly in the other direction 0 to 180 degree. The least count of this simple protractor is 1 degree. Uh, we have a reference mark here, we can see 0 is marked here. This is the reference uh, and there is a clamp to clamp the blade on the steel rule at any orientation. Now, what we have to do is, we have to insert the work piece whose angle is to be measured. For example, this is the work piece, uh, uh, this uh, uh, angle between this particular surface and this particular surface uh, we want to uh, measure. Now, the work piece is placed between the steel rule and the blade and then uh, there should be intimate contact between the work piece surfaces and uh, the blade uh, surfaces and then what is the reading of the protractor. So, this 0 
is a reference with respect to this, what is the angle indicated or shown by the protractor that we have to uh, see that indicates the inclination. In this uh, particular case, it is uh, showing uh, 40, 45 degree. That means, the angle between this particular surface and this particular surface is uh, 45 degrees. Now, uh, we shall conduct a simple experiment to show how to use uh, a combination set for the measurement of uh, angle. Now, uh, uh, we can see I am trying to measure this, uh, yeah, this is uh, the guide way. the slide, slide uh, of the ram of uh, a shaper. I am trying to measure the inclination and the angle between this particular uh, surface and uh, this particular uh, surface. So, I am using uh, a simple uh, protractor for measurement of uh, the angle between these two surfaces. we should uh, uh, the steel rule should uh, intimately contact uh, this particular surface and uh, the blade of the protractor should contact intimately with this particular uh, surface and then we can uh, uh, read the scale okay, with uh, reference to this particular uh, reference uh, mark. Now, you can see the reading, uh, it is uh, showing 0 degree. 10 degree, 20, 30, 40, 50 and 55 degree. So, inclination between the two surfaces of the slide is uh, 55 degree. Yeah, you can see the reading 55 degrees. So, a clamp is provided here, we can uh, clamp the uh, steel rule with uh, the protractor and we can remove and we then we can uh, read the uh, protractor. So, another uh, uh, normally used uh, instrument for measurement of angle is vernier bevel uh, protractor. In the previous uh, case, we saw a simple uh, protractor wherein there was no uh, vernier, but here we have a vernier. Uh, this is the rotary scale which reads uh, 0 to 360 degree. So, least count of this particular uh, rotary scale is uh, uh, 1 degree and then we have a vernier. So, this is the 0 reference towards uh, one side it, it, it shows 60 minutes and the other side it shows uh, 60 minutes. Now, least count for this particular one year is uh, uh, 5 minutes. That means, 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20, 25, 30 minutes like this. Each degree is divided into uh, uh, 12 parts. So, each uh, part representing uh, 5 uh, minutes. Now, this is the body which contains rotary scale as well as uh, the vernier and then there is a clamp to clamp the uh, um, blades at any desired uh, angle. Now, this is a shows the full view of uh, the bevel uh, protractor. Now, uh, it uh, measures angle between two faces of uh, a component. The slide there will be one uh, uh, blade which is fixed to the body, you can see here this is the body to which uh, the circular uh, scale is uh, fixed and as well as vernier is also fixed. There is another uh, blade which is uh, slidable which moves. So, sliding blade length it varies from 150 to 300 uh, millimeter. Least count of this vernier bevel protractor is normally 5 minutes. Uh, here it is uh, the uh, mechanical uh, display is there scale is there. There are uh, bevel protractors with uh, 
a digital uh, display also. Now, you can see there are some uh, attachments to the basic uh, uh, bevel protractor. There is an acute angle uh, measurement. This is uh, 90 degree and this angle is uh, 30 degree and we have a sliding uh, blade. So, this is again uh, uh, beveled at 45 degree and uh, this uh, shows uh, this angle is 60 degree. We can uh, use these ends of the blade to check 45 degrees and uh, 60 degrees. There is a magnifying uh, uh, lens for easy reading and uh, there is a fine adjustment uh, knob for proper adjustment of uh, the blades and this is the clamp to clamp the blade to the body. So, with these additional uh, attachments, the simple bevel protractor uh, is called uh, universal uh, bevel uh, protractor. Now, another important thing when we use uh, protractor is there should be intimate contact between blade with the beveled uh, surfaces. You can see here, uh, this is the sliding uh, blade and this is the blade which is fixed to the body. The surface of the fixed blade, uh, fixed blade and uh, the sliding uh, uh, blade uh, should contact uh, the surface of the work piece intimately, then only the uh, proper uh, reading can be taken. You can see here in uh, picture B, we have uh, uh, intimate contact here, but there is no proper contact uh, at this place. So, the reading shown is uh, greater than uh, the actual angle. Here it is showing 55 degree, which is the correct angle. Here it is showing more than 55 degree because of this uh, error. So, sometimes uh, the one blade, the sliding blade is in con contact with the workpiece, but here fixed blade is not uh, in contact. It is actually the, uh, the protractor is climbing on the workpiece. So, there is no contact here. So, the angle shown is 54 degree, which is smaller than the actual uh, angle. So, again uh, see when we one blade should come in contact with one surface of the workpiece and then we should uh, slide the uh, uh, protractor like this till the other blade comes in contact with uh, the beveled surface and then further we should push the instrument so that there is a proper uh, contact at this place. Then we should take the reading, we should clamp uh, the blades and then we should take out and then we can read the instrument. If you, if we further uh, push the instrument, you can see here when we push, there will be a proper contact uh, like this. And uh, if we try to push further, again the sliding blade further rotates, and then uh, there will be uh, the uh, there will be error in the reading. Such uh, things uh, should not be there. So while uh, using uh, this bevel protractor, the surfaces of the workpiece should be properly cleaned and surface of the blades of uh, the protractor, the well protractor should be properly cleaned and then we should carefully use uh, the instrument. Now, we will uh, conduct a simple uh, experiment uh, to learn how to use uh, uh, a protractor. Now, we can uh, see here, I am using uh, a bevel protractor with uh, vernier and this is the work piece, B block is the work piece and uh, uh, I want to measure the inclination angle between this particular surface and this uh, surface. You can see how to keep the blades, uh, uh, we should uh, see that one blade is in contact with this particular surface and the other blade should uh, properly uh, contact the other uh, surface. Yeah, now, you can see the proper uh, contact. So, if necessary, we can take a piece of paper or a feeler gauge and we should try to insert here uh, to see whether uh, there is proper contact or uh, not between the work surface and uh, the blade. So now, you can see the contact at this particular place.
Yeah, now we can uh, read the instrument. Now, this is the circular uh, scale and then we have uh, the vernier here. Now, you can see the we should uh, read uh, from uh, one end. Uh, so, the reading is 20 degree, 30 degree, 40 degree, okay, 40 degree and then we should see which uh, mark is coinciding with uh, the main uh, scale. Uh, reading is uh, main scale reading is uh, 40, 41 degree, 42 degree, 43 degree, 44 degree. Main scale reading is uh, 44 degree and then we should see the coinciding uh, division in the same uh, direction that is uh, you can see here this particular uh, mark on the vernier is coinciding with this 50 degree line. So, uh, the vernier uh, reading is 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes. So, the angle is 44 degrees and 15 minutes. So, that is the angle. So, another variation of uh, bevel uh, protractor instrument is optical bevel uh, protractor. Here we can uh, see there is a body which uh, houses uh, a circular uh, glass uh, scale which reads from 0 to 360 degrees. Again least count in this particular case is uh, uh, 5 uh, minutes. You can see the peeping uh, hole here. So, we have to keep the work piece between these two blades say this is the work piece and we want to measure this uh, angle between these two surfaces. So, this surface should uh, contact with this blade and the other surface should contact uh, the other blade and then uh, the, we should establish uh, intimate contact between the surfaces and then by operating this lever we can clamp it we can clamp the blades and then we can remove the protractor from the workpiece and then uh, by peeping through this peeping hole uh, we can uh, read the scale. Inside there is a glass uh, circular scale, so like this, so which reads uh, 0 degree, 10 degree, 20 degree like this and then with uh, the 1 degree marks. So, this is 5 degree again 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 like this and then there will be a vernier, so, there will be vernier. So, with uh, 5 minutes, 5 minutes uh, least uh, count. So, with reference to this uh, 0 on the vernier, which uh, uh, we should take the main scale reading as well as uh, the vernier reading and then uh, uh, we can note down the inclination, the angle. So, this is the back side view of uh, the bevel uh, protractor, you can see a groove here. So, which will move inside, uh, inside the body there is a projection and uh, over that this uh, movable uh, slidable uh, blade uh, slides. So, at any desired uh, position we can uh, clamp the blade. Now, this uh, picture shows the uh, full set. We have uh, the body clamp peeping hole and then sliding uh, blade with uh, uh, 60 degree bevel on one side and 45 degree bevel on other side and this is the blade which is fixed to the body and this is the blade which is slidable. There is a spare uh, a longer uh, blade is uh, provided. 
So, wherever uh, necessary, we can remove this uh, smaller uh, slab, uh, removable blade and we can insert this blade and we can use it. Now, we will uh, see, uh, we will conduct an experiment to show how to use uh, optical uh, protractor. Now, you can see uh, this is the milling uh, machine table. Uh, I am trying to measure the inclination. So, this is the guide way. We have the top surface of the guide way and then we have an inclined surface of the guide way. I am trying to measure the inclination between these two surfaces using this optical bevel protractor. So, we have uh, uh, this uh, slideable uh, blade and this is the fixed blade. Yeah. This is the body clamp for clamping the blades and peeping hole through which we can take the readings. the back side view of uh, the optical protractor. Now, you can see the one uh, blade, one blade should uh, come in contact with the top surface of uh, the guideway and the other blade should contact this uh, sloping uh, surface. Uh, intimate contact is uh, very, very essential to get the proper uh, readings. Now, you can see the contact, intimate contact between the surfaces and the blade uh, surfaces. So, another very common uh, instrument used for measurement of angles and tapers is uh, a sign uh, bar. This uh, photograph uh, shows uh, a sign bar. This is the body of the sign bar and uh, we have two rollers, very precise, uh, precisely machined uh, rollers fixed to the two ends of uh, the sign bar and we have uh, circular uh, holes here uh, to reduce the weight of uh, the sign uh, bar. So, this is a very high precision and most accurate angle measuring uh, instrument, uh, we can uh, measure the angles even to uh, uh, an accuracy of a uh, few uh, seconds. So, these uh, sign bars are they are made of high carbon, high chromium steel, they are hardened, stabilized and ground and uh, lapped. They are available in various uh, sizes of 100 millimeter length, 200 millimeter length and 300 millimeter length. This length means the distance between center of this uh, roller and uh, this uh, center. The distance between the centers of the rollers is the size of the sign bar. So, these relief holes are uh, uh, provided to make it light and uh, for easy handling. The diameters of these two cylinders or rollers attached uh, at the two ends. Uh, diameters are equal, equal diameter uh, rollers. The axis of these two cylinders or uh, rollers are mutually parallel to each other and also parallel to and at equal distance from the upper and uh, lower uh, surface of the sign bar. That means, the axis of this uh, uh, roller and axis of this roller should be parallel to each other, should be parallel to the top surface of the sign bar and uh, parallel to uh, the bottom surface of the sign uh, bar. Now, sign bar it is uh, used in combination with uh, slip gauges for precise uh, angular uh, measurement. Uh, it is used either to measure angle very accurately or to locate any work piece to a given uh, angle. 
accuracy up to 0 0.01 millimeter per meter length of sign bar can be obtained. These uh, sign bars they are made as per uh, Indian standard 5359 of 1969. Now, accuracy requirement and tolerance specified uh, in Indian standard 5359 of 1969 for a 100 millimeter sign bar are uh, as follows. Flatness of upper and lower surfaces should be 0 0.001 uh, millimeter and uh, the flatness of side faces should be 0 0.005 uh, millimeter, squareness of side faces to upper surface. That means, uh, if this is uh, the sign bar, squareness of the side uh, surfaces to the upper uh, surface should be within this uh, 0 0.003 per 25 millimeter. Similarly, squareness of end faces to upper surface, end faces to upper surface should be within this uh, value 0.003 per 25 mm and uh, straightness and circularity of rollers uh, should be uh, less than 0 0.002 millimeter. Variation in distance between roller axis should be less than uh, plus or minus 0 0.003 millimeter. Now, these uh, uh, sign bars uh, should not be used for uh, angles uh, greater than uh, 60 degrees. For smaller angles, uh, these can be used to get uh, the uh, precise uh, angular values. To measure unknown angles or tapers or small work pieces, uh, these are preferred, these sign bars are preferred and uh, you can see the arrangement, how we can use uh, a sign bar for measurement of uh, taper angle, you can uh, see here, this is the work piece uh, and uh, we need to measure the taper or the angle between this uh, surface and this surface. So, this is the angle that is to be measured we have to keep the work piece on, uh, we have to clean the surface of the work piece and we should keep the work piece on this cleaned surface uh, plate and then over that we have to mount the sign bar as shown in this picture. We can uh, take the help of uh, maybe the angle plate or magnetic uh, stand to mount uh, the sign bar over the work piece. Now, you can see here. Uh, one roller is in contact with uh, the surface uh, plate and then uh, the gap between the roller and uh, the surface plate is filled with uh, slip gauge which indicates uh, an height of h and uh, the distance between the centers of rollers is l. This is the length of uh, sign bar. Now, uh, by knowing the value of uh, h and knowing the value of l, we can find out the angle uh, theta using this relationship. Sin theta is equal to h1 minus uh, h2 divided by L, where uh, uh, in this case uh, h2 is uh, 0 and this is uh, h1. If, uh, if we have uh, the arrangement like this, so this is the surface plate and then this is the component. Uh, the taper of which is to be measured and then we have to mount the uh, sign bar like this. And now this is the roller and we have another uh, roller here. So, in this case we have to fill this uh, gap between rollers and surface plate using surf, uh, the slip gauges. So, in this case this uh, is H1 and here it is uh, H2 and this is L. So, now this uh, theta, this theta can be calculated using uh, this uh, relationship. So, theta is equal to sin inverse h 1 minus h 2 divided by L. Now, we will uh, conduct a simple uh, experiment. Uh, to learn how to measure the angles using uh, sign bars. Yeah. Now, you can see the arrangement for uh, measurement of uh, taper, taper angle of uh, 
this particular tapered uh, component. Now, we have the surface uh, plate, we have to clean the surface of the surface plate and then we have to keep uh, the cleaned uh, work piece on the surface plate. We can take the help of uh, an angle plate for proper mounting of uh, the sign bar, this is the sign bar, these are the relief uh, holes and we have two rollers of equal diameter, two cylinders of equal diameter fixed to the sign uh, bar and then this is the magnetic uh, stand and then we have the slip gauge uh, box to fill the gap between roller and uh, the surface of the surface uh, plate. You can see the close view of uh, the tapered component. This uh, dead center of uh, the lathe. Yeah, this uh, taper or cone angle we want to measure angle plate, the top surface of uh, this is the top surface of the sign bar and this is the side surface of the sign bar. You can see the relief holes. We have uh, the slip gauge uh, box, now we have to mount the sign bar on the work piece that is tapered component and then we have to keep the magnetic stand in front of the sign bar so that it would not fall. So, back side on the other side we have uh, uh, the angle plate and from the front side we have a magnetic uh, stand to support the sign uh, bar and then magnetic stand is switched on. Now, you can see the component, taper component below the sign bar and then this gap, gap between the cylinder and the surface plate should be filled using slip gauges. So, that will give uh, H 1, height H 1. And on the other side also we should uh, fill the gap between this uh, cylinder and the surface plate using uh, slip gauge slip gauges. So, that will give H 2. Knowing the values of uh, H 1, H 2 and uh, L, we can find out the taper angle theta that is theta is equal to sin inverse H 1 minus H 2 divided by L. Sometimes uh, the work piece uh, will be very heavy. Okay. So, checking of unknown angles of uh, heavy component, in that case how do we use the sign bar? So, we can place the sign bar as shown here, you can see the top surface of the sign bar is in contact with the component, heavy component cylinders are on the other uh, side. Now, we can use uh, vernier uh, height gauges uh, to check uh, the H 1 and uh, H 2. So, we, we can always use the vernier height uh, gauge to check this uh, height, this is the height H 1. and here this height is H 2.
and then uh, L is the length of uh, the sign bar. So, knowing uh, H 1, H 2 and L, we can find out the angle uh, theta, this angle theta so, using that relationship sin uh, theta is equal to. So, the difference between H H 2 and H 1, H 2 minus H 1, H 2 minus H 1 divided by L. So, using this relationship, we can find the tape, taper angle of the component. Now, we can see the another uh, application of uh, sign bar, uh, this is uh, setting of uh, lathe for uh, taper uh, turning. You can see the work piece in which uh, we have to uh, cut uh, the taper, we want to maintain some, we want to cut some taper and now uh, the tile stock uh, can be, tile stock quill can be moved. You can see the sign bar and this is the reference uh, bar, sign bar and between the cylinder cylinder of the sign bar and this reference surface we have filled with uh, the slip gauge. So, like this knowing the value of uh, uh, H 1 difference H 2 H 1 minus H 2 and uh, length of uh, the sign bar we can find out uh, theta or if we know what is the angle that is required we can find out what is the uh, height of uh, slip gauge and then uh, we can uh, arrange the lathe for uh, taper turning in this uh, fashion. Now, another uh, variation of uh, sign bar is uh, sign uh, center. Now, you can see here uh, we have uh, the body of uh, the sign center, these are the relief uh, holes and then we have cylinders fixed to the body of the sign center and then here we have uh, two centers. These uh, centers they are uh, slidable, you can see the slot here, we can loosen the clamp and then we can uh, move uh, the centers axially like this to accommodate the work piece of uh, a different lens. So, this uh, sliding uh, arrangement is uh, provided. So, these sign centers they are used in situations where it is uh, difficult to mount the sign bar on the component. So, what we can do is we can mount uh, the work piece uh, between uh, centers uh, like this and then using a dial indicator. Uh, we have to keep the slip gauges here so this is the surface plate so this is h1 and this is uh, h2 okay now uh, we should find what should be the value of uh, H 1 minus uh, H 2. Okay. H 2 minus H 1, H 2 minus H 1 divided by L. We know what is the size of the sign bar and uh, say we have a tapered uh, component. So, we should uh, place the tapered component here between centers. And then we should adjust this uh, height H 1 minus H, H 2 minus H 1 uh, uh, difference height, we should adjust till 
the dial indicator uh, reads uh, 0. So, we can always change this uh, theta by varying uh, this uh, height difference, so that the dial indicator, we have to move the dial indicator on the generator of uh, the tapered uh, component. Okay. When we move the dial indicator on the generator of uh, the work piece, this should read 0, like that we should uh, adjust this uh, inclination. So, when it reads 0, then there will be a particular value of uh, theta. So, that is the cone angle of the tapered uh, component. So, like this we can uh, use the sign center for measurement of uh, angles, taper angles. Now, we can see uh, an advanced uh, sign uh, center, this is the base and then uh, this is the sign uh, table. So, it is pivoted here. Okay. So, this uh, sign uh, table can be tilted in this fashion, we can uh, tilt the table and uh, we can place, uh, here there is a roller and this is the surface of the sign table. So, here after lifting it, after tilting it, we have to fill this gap using the slip gauges. You can see in this picture, slip gauges are uh, placed. So, we should calculate uh, the, we should adjust the slip gauge height till uh, the uh, dial indicator uh, reads uh, 0. We have to mount uh, the tapered component between the uh, centers, you can see the centers. Now, uh, the body which uh, contains the center can be moved uh, horizontally like this to accommodate, this also can be slided to accommodate the work piece of different uh, lengths, these two can be slided. You can see here the taper component is mounted between centers and then there is an attachment here. There is a uh, arrangement for mounting the dial indicator. You can see the dial indicator is mounted and uh, this uh, uh, head can be moved uh, up and down. You can see the guideways here. So, this head can be moved up and down again uh, to accommodate the uh, the work pieces of different uh, sizes. Then uh, the uh, dial indicator is uh, moved uh, horizontally okay, till uh, it reads uh, 0 throughout. So, like that we should adjust uh, the slip gauge height and then the angle can be calculated that will be the angle of taper angle of the work piece. Now, another uh, variation of uh, sign uh, table, uh, you can uh, sign center, a variation of sign center, you can uh, see here, this is called a sign uh, table. So, this is the base of uh, the sign table and uh, you can see the table, sign table can be tilted. So, this table can be tilted, you can see the pivot here a roller is fixed to the sign uh, table and between the roller and uh, the base surface, top surface of the base, we, 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 have, we, can, we have to insert the slip cache. So, uh, and there is another, this is a basically a compound uh, sign table. So, this uh, table can be tilted uh, like this, there is another table mounted over this table which can be tilted in this uh, fashion. So, in two planes, uh, we can tilt uh, the uh, plates, these two plates. Again, you can see the pivot here and there is a roller fixed to the bottom surface of this top plate. So, here uh, we have to keep the slip gauge for adjusting the required uh, angle. We can see the holes are provided for mounting uh, the component on this uh, particular uh, table. So, these sign tables are heavy duty tables, they are very rugged uh, to hold uh, the parts for machining of, uh, uh, for measurement of angles as well as for machining of uh, angles. Work pieces can be mounted on this uh, table and it can be uh, machined. You can see the clamp uh, 
for the uh, two plates or two tables okay, using these clamps uh, the tables the angles can be uh, rigidly uh, clamped the tables can be clamped. Now, these are uh, schematic uh, views of uh, simple uh, sign table. Here we have only one uh, swiveling uh, table, pivot and roller which is fixed to the bottom of swiveling table and this is the reference surface on which uh, slip case uh, should be placed. So, between uh, roller and uh, the reference surface uh, slip case can be placed and then required angle can be maintained. And this is the schematic diagram of compound uh, sign uh, table. We have two plates here. This is one plate which can be tilted uh, in this fashion and uh, there is another table which can be tilted uh, in this manner. So, we have one uh, pivot for this swiveling uh, table and this is a pivot for another uh, table. You can see the T slots for mounting the work pieces on the top of uh, swivel uh, table. So, we will uh, uh, see a simple uh, sign uh, table. We can see the top surface of the sign table. We can also see the T slots. You can see the pivot here, pivot uh, roller. There is a provision to put a rod here. Using that rod, we can uh, tilt it so that required angle can be maintained. I can clearly see the T slots here for mounting the work pieces, and we can see the slots here for. Uh, mounting this sign table on the table of machine, uh, machine tools. A rod can be placed here and then this uh, pivot can be rotated to change the angle. Slots for mounting the sign table, machine table. Now, this is the surface on which slip cases uh, should be placed. We should clean the surface and then we should uh, keep the work pieces, uh, slip gauges. And we can also see the roller fixed to the bottom surface of the swiveling uh, plate. So, between the roller and this uh, surface, we should keep the slip gauges. We can also see the pivot roller. And now, uh, let me summarize uh, the topics covered uh, in this uh, lecture. We discussed about uh, the meanings of uh, taper, tilt, uh, and uh, angle. We also learnt about uh, the various instruments used for measurement of taper and uh, angle. We learnt about uh, the combination uh, set and then Bernier uh, bevel protractor, optical uh, bevel uh, protractor. We also studied about uh, sign bar, sign center and uh, sign table of uh, different uh, types that is uh, simple uh, sign table and uh, compound uh, sign table. We also conducted uh, some uh, experiments to learn uh, about uh, how to use these uh, instruments. So, we will uh, stop the lecture at this point and we will continue this in the next uh, lecture. Thank you.